Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook ENT, and we're back in Awesome Town. Actually, Awesome Town 2. Um, <clears throat> basically, after some serious soul searching and a conversation with my pastor, basically, I decided to uh, start a new world. Basically, going off of the world that I started when I thought my world was deleted. Uh, it seems that the new file format for the new worlds is making the old one extremely laggy. So, long story short, yeah, moving on basically seemed like the thing to do. Uh, I actually did a whole episode, uh, but my mic wasn't on. So I went on this expedition, uh, went down here in the old place that I was going to think about calling my house. That's where I got all this gas uh, from, oil barrels, uh, shotgun from that one safe. I got these rockets and whatnot. So yeah, at this point what I'm trying to do, and I messed up because I used up... Um, well, I didn't use up my entire pickaxe, but I got all this burnt wood, which sucks because even though I can make sticks with it, I can't actually, um, I can't, that's what I'm looking for. I can't use it to craft, like, wood-related stuff, like, uh, storage chests and whatnot. So, basically, we're gonna go chop down some trees. I'm gonna go explore something else, also. We're gonna go... Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up here through town. I'm gonna try to take a building down. I heard the gravity on that is freaking awesome now, the way they, they collapse. Uh, also, check this sexy tool out. This is a wrench. I can repair cracked blocks. Look at that. Yes. Alright. Get my house all nice and tidy. Uh, I don't think there's a repair tool for uh, like weapons and tools, <clears throat> which kind of sucks, but uh, I mean, it, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I know how to make storage chests. It just doesn't seem that the woods that I have are compatible with it. Uh, yeah, see, these don't make planks. And the burnt wood, when it gives me planks, um, it doesn't, they don't work for for like storage chests. So we definitely have to go get some of that because basically I'm out of storage room. Uh, so what will we do? Yeah, this old wood stuff just failed. All right. Let me combine these just so I can make some torches out of it real quick and be able to save some space. There we go. What else? Uh, I have enough pills that I shouldn't eat the bandages. But again, big problem right now is I don't have the room for it. Actually, I think there's a little storage chest up there. So yeah, I'm basically going to try to expand from this. I wanted to make this my house <clears throat> when we moved on. Well, not when we moved on, but whenever uh, you know I ran into it. I liked the, the place that it was in the sense of how open open and uh, open it is the lag basically seems like it's not as apparent as the other one when they're trying to knock down everything uh, so yeah we are going to go explore all right let's get some food food is rather important now there's very little of it to, I mean just in the sense that I don't have my that I don't have my um, my farms anymore so we also have to find us some potato seeds and um, <clears throat> some corn but check this out it's a water drop you don't drown in water and zombies don't attack it so now I don't have to waste all this oh shit where's the dog at oh you got stuck in that hi idiot honestly those are the worst things the climber zombies and all that these guys they're not really too bad I mean they're a pain they're a pain at the end of the day. But look at that. Now they have a blast. They have blast to them. Bam. Bam. Two and one. You want some, buddy? Oh, snap. Everybody wants some. Love this new machine gun. The weapons just feel so much nicer now. Yeah, and as I was talking to my friend uh, Martin there, who gave me the awesome idea on that water drop, I would imagine that probably the worst thing would be the uh, 
the acid puking zombies. I haven't seen one yet. I have not seen one. Uh, the only time I saw one was whenever, um, you know, I went to my old build when I realized it was still there and there was one. But beyond that, I have not seen one out here at all. Even when I went all the way south to that uh, old complex. Oh my god, that is so nice. Look. Aha, I'm out of bullets. You don't need that much, lady. Yeah, so basically we're back to scavenging, foraging, uh, doing everything we can do now to to survive. All right. So it's actually fun. It's fun and exciting again. For a while there, I mean, obviously I got my fort pretty built up. Uh, I had a lot of shotgun shells and whatnot. So, I mean, it was getting to that point where if I didn't go out at night, I was pretty much safe. I was pretty much safe. So it's kind of cool having that feeling that, you know, not safe anymore. These are, these are the wasps. They're actually not hard at all. They're more of an inconvenience. And they kind of, they do attack you. But they're fairly slow. They're fairly slow. And, um, yeah, they're not a huge threat at all. Oh, what, I didn't hit you? Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a total hit. They drop honey. What? What it's for? I don't know yet. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, look at that. Sending you all the way to a new biome. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is get some trees. We're going to get some trees. Now, also another great freaking feature about this new update is you can set the... Uh, the day cycles. So I have it set to 50 minutes. That means that I get 25 minutes of nighttime, 25 minutes of daytime. Um, which is awesome because then that gives me plenty of time normally to, you know, go exploring and uh, be able to get far enough away from home that I can still get back in time. Awesome. Now, there's a couple of tricks that I figured out the first night. I haven't done it because now I need to mine. So, you know, pretty much the long nights are a good thing. But what I was doing at first, just kind of trying to get adjusted to everything. Um, I would set the, you know, 50 minute cycles. When night hit, I would change it to 5 minutes. So then basically I would have, you know, a super fast, super fast 2.5 minute night cycle. And then I can go back out in the daytime. I did that about twice. And then I stopped. Um, another cool thing that I haven't done yet is if you notice on the map here, there's this teepee here and there's a teepee here. Basically, I set down sleeping bags. So according to Mr. Martin, whenever I die, it'll give me the option to spawn in any one of those places. And basically, I can set up a bunch of these sleeping bags. Now, the thing about it is you're able to use it to travel quickly from place to place. Um, for example, I could get all this stuff off my hotbar, just move it over so that I don't lose it, and then I commit suicide. So then, you know, basically the game says you died, where would you like to spawn? And then I can spawn in one of those areas. So that's kind of awesome. At least that way, you know, I'm able to... How much wood do I have? Where's all my wood? Oh, I see it. Um, yeah, I'm able to, if need be, I haven't done it, so I haven't really tested it, but I'm sure it works if he says it works. So basically, you're able to teleport. Also, another cool feature with the update, I did get killed. Uh, and I was able to run to get my stuff. It didn't despawn like it did previously when you died. I don't know how long you have. I know it took me, I would say about a minute, minute and a half to actually get back to my stuff but thankfully it was all there oh it's the old neighborhood guys the old neighborhood not as deadly as I remember it see now I'm getting paper and all this other stuff because oh snap is that a freaking dog 
Um, yeah, now I need to pick up everything. Because everything has a purpose now. Like, paper is used for campfires and whatnot. So, pretty much everything is needed. You know what? I'll mess around with these dogs. I'll just machine gun them. I think that's the house that I was trying to take down that was floating last time. You know what? For old time's sake, I'm not going to make this episode very long. Just to let you guys know that uh, we're starting a new world. Uh, for old time's sake, we're going to bring this house down. See, those are the climbers. They're not bad. They're not bad during the day. Come here. I see you. Let me investigate you. Oh my god, a stick. <clears throat> god, was that really my old house and then I just built what I built around it? Yeah, it is. Let's go check out the old house, see what's in it. Let's eat some food. So, so the zombies now, the zombies now seem very, very controlled. Um, in the sense that they're not just freaking out, breaking everything for the sake of breaking everything, which is awesome. Um, but, if you do catch them indoors, if you do catch them indoors, they will go bananas on you. Uh, they start rushing you, you know, as they did before. Uh, but now, now it, 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 it hurts. It hurts and, yeah, I mean, uh, campfires, campfires super useful for that. Alright, um, I don't need water, I have a ton of it. Okay, that still acts up. Barbed wire, I don't need a stick. Oh, so many memories. Alright, I don't need the water. That's weird that I'm choosing to keep paper over water now. You know what, I need all the food I can get. When I went to go search um, to the south, I could not for the life of me find any food. I was actually like bleeding out. Let's try to take this place down. See how good the uh, gravity system is now. Alright guys. <clears throat> Had to do a uh, quick little cut there. My son needed me, which is way past his bedtime. I don't know what he's doing up. He busted a blister. So he was kind of proud of it. Because he thought it was going to hurt. I'm like, no, this stuff doesn't hurt, buddy. But look, check it out. Check it out. These are it. They throw so super super far with their little acid spitting selves look at him look at him running he would have been a freaking hold on are you gonna blow up sir you were clearly an asset to your police force with those freaking track and meat hold on ah with your uh, running abilities Alright, back to bringing this freaking place down. Tired of it. Tired of it being up. Let me take out this other support beam. You are going to fall down. And until you do, I'm going to keep recording. Come on. Where's that dog? Oh, I see you. I see you. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why I was trying to take out the concrete base. That's probably the hardest thing to have done. Hold on, are you holding this place up? Alright, at this point now. At this point, this thing better fall apart. Alright, come on, it's about to be five... Oh man, this house. Martin was lying. This thing is standing strong. F 
fall down house I need these shells but you're taking too long come on come on I see you don't scare me you punk teenagers oh my goodness I don't even know what's holding this house up anymore Look at her trying to freak out and run at me. Shut up. Oh. Made me look bad. Oh, what hit me? What hit me? Alright, I definitely need the other shotgun. This is uh, the sawed off, and the other one is different. And that's the one that has that like penetration thing to it. Not penetration, but like the blast radius, I, I guess I would say. Oh my god, dude, I have no clue what's holding up this house. Come on, this is symbolic. I am really wasting eight. Oh, snap. God, they are way more quiet now. Like, super quiet. You know, that guy was there. Alright. Oh, come on. Shut up. Yeah, I really have no clue what's holding this house up now. This thing should be in the ground. I hear a dog. I hear a dog. Oh, come on. No, I'm not using up an oil barrel. It sounded like a good idea there for a second, but no. I can't craft it yet. That would be wasteful. Oh my god. It doesn't seem that this thing is coming down, guys. I mean, by all means, it should. Half the base is missing. Let me go around the other side. Get some stamina going. Does he see me? Does he see me? No, I don't think he sees me yet. Oh my god. Yeah, this place is not coming down. I don't know what the deal is. Oh man, it's six. You know what? Screw this, guys. We'll come back. We'll come back to this. I got a ways to go home. God, those are the worst. These dogs. Everything else, everything else I'm alright with. I don't feel overwhelmed, but when those dogs come out... Oh yeah, screw this, I'm out. Reload, 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 reload. Why aren't you reloaded, you piece of crap? No! Oh, screw this. Screw this. You can't... Oh! Ah! Alright, they can't make it upstairs. Thank God. Oh! Snappy can. Let me hit him. Oh, come on. Alright, guys. We are camping out here for the night. I'm definitely not making it back. Definitely not making it back. Um, is there an upstairs? There's a basement. I will take a basement. 
Oh, that turned turned for the worst kind of quick there. All right, huh. we're back to uh, cowering in fear. Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, screw that. Screw that, buddy. Not taking my chances with windows again. Learn my lesson. Alright, and you guys remind me, remind me to, uh, well, he's not on my Xbox. Otherwise, I would unfriend Mr. Martin right now. I know it's not his fault, but I'm blaming him. Alright, gotta light this place up just in case they make it in. Hopefully, it slows them down a bit, but <laughs> they should not. They shouldn't make it in. Awesome, guys. Well, I hope you liked the video. As always, subscribe up top, and uh, we're starting over. Peace out.